take the waterfall footage. I want to cut out this waterfall. We do that with the mask and we draw a mask. At the moment it can be really a rough one. It doesn't have to be precise. Once you do that, let's go to basic. So let's move it and we scale it. So increase blur strength. All right, looking good. Now I would like to create another mask to remove that bottom part here. To do that, create compound clip and then create another mask. Add a bit more blur, blur strength, not too much. So just to remove a sharp line. Yes, exactly. Then we can adjust some colors by going to color and in basics, Let's reduce shadows. Oh, look at that. Looking good. With that done, we take the water. I will hide the waterfall for now. And, and the flowing water, I will create another mask. Again, a rough one. Increase blur strength. And then I will just... Once we do that, we have to adjust the colors. Now the best way I found in color, we go to vibrance, reduce all the way down, saturation all the way down. Then we go to curves. And here we're gonna play with the midtones. Let's in increase the blue one. Let's go to the red, reduce the red one. And where is the green? Let's increase it like that. Like that. I might as well reduce the shadows. In video basic, I will reduce opacity just a touch. So we can see some, some reflections. So now we're going to create a loop from the flowing water and from the waterfall. Make sure it's aligning to the very end of it. Split this part here. Zoom out and take the second part and drag it to the beginning. And here we will add a few keyframes. If you go to the very beginning of it, we take this footage, we add opacity 80 and the bottom one will start at zero. We add keyframe, move time indicator, just all, almost before the end of it. This one, top one, gonna fade out and the bottom one will fade in to 80. Now we can offset the keyframes. So I'll make fade in before the fade out starts. And this is how it's looking. Much better. And now I can select both, right click, create compound clip. I'll hide for now. Then I will enable waterfall. Select the timeline here, this empty one, just like that. And then right click, duplicate. And we move it so part of it goes outside of 30 seconds. So we can split it, split and move this one to the very beginning. And we will do here exactly the same with the keyframes. Basic opacity starts at 100. This one here starts at zero and the bottom one will fade in to 100% and this one will fade out to 0%. And I will offset each of them like this. And as you can see, looking perfect. We're gonna repeat here the same, here opacity. It starts at zero, this one will start at 100, and the bottom one will fade out, and the top one will fade in. And we're gonna offset again. The fade in should start earlier, like this. You can preview. Looking good. We can select all, right click, create compound clip, and then you can select all again, right click, create compound clip. And if you duplicate, if you play, you see that a seamless transition is happening. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below.